So we just had Android 21 Lab Coat get released for Dragon Ball Fighters as Season 4 of DLC. Will there be more DLC for Season 4? We don't really know yet. But what we do know is that this character is broken and that Arc System Works has a very sadistic and terrible pattern with releasing overpowered DLC characters. Some call me Raven, the Dark Talon of Death. Hey guys, of course, before we get into the video today, make sure you guys click that like button if you're enjoying the video and the vibes. I always gotta make sure to remind you guys of doing that. It helps the channel out greatly, and I greatly appreciate it. Of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this, subscribe. and make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Android 21 Lab Coat. Wow, that sounds so stupid to say out loud. Is the newest and latest DLC character for Dragon Ball Fighters. I know you guys love your Android 21. And of course, guys, to no one's surprise at all, in true Arc System Works Dragon Ball Fighters DLC character fashion, this character is already looking to be the most broken, overpowered, nonsensical character in this entire game. Ignoring the fact that we already had another Android 21 that's still running around that's also overpowered and broken. Now we got two of this chick. Somebody make it make sense, please. Every time I go online, I'm seeing this b and I was already seeing in this bitch before she came out. So now I'm seeing double of this same bitch in Dragon Ball Fighters. What's going on, Arc System Works? What are you doing? I mean, you guys love her, right? You guys are off to her, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and give a very brief breakdown of what all this character has. Good buttons, beams, DP, command grabs, like what, two I think, barrier, a launching online overhead. I mean, this chick has everything. This can even put status effects on you. What the f Am I playing Dragon Ball Fighters or am I playing Final Fantasy? Is this b Arakune from Blaze Blue now? This b playing RPGs. You know, I like Dragon Ball Fighters. Over these past few years, I've been noticing a very distinct and disturbing trend with Dragon Ball Fighters and their DLC character releases, right? Are you guys aware of the 499 deal? So guys, the 499 deal is when you're getting your ass kicked in Dragon Ball Fighters, right? You suck at the game. You're complete garbage. You're playing as Super Saiyan Goku. You're playing as Super Saiyan Vegeta and I don't know Frieza, right? And you're getting your ass kicked online, bro. And you start crying. You start whining. But then you have Arc System Works. They throw you a ball and they tell you, hey man, look, we can make all your problems go away with just a measly four 99 baby 499 Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta 499 GT Goku 499 Ultra Instinct Goku 499 Android 21 Lab Code 499 Blue Vegeta 499 Blue Gogeta Pay this money, get this team, and you will be set for life, bro You know, Tekken 7 did the same exact thing a couple years back with Leroy and Falconron And you know, Tekken got a lot of sh** for that But now we have Dragon Ball Fighters Who looks to be doing the same exact thing in terms of DLC characters Essentially these characters are paid to win characters. They're so good to the point where they invalidate majority of the roster. This game has a bunch of characters. It wouldn't be a long stretch to assume that I shouldn't be going online fighting against the same f team constantly in this goddamn game. I mean, the game has so many characters. You got Ginyu, you got Nappa, Frieza, Videl, Gohan, two Gohans, you got Cooler, Android 16, I mean, Dude, the, the game is massive, so why am I, why am I fighting against B Blue Gogeta and Blue Fujito and Android 21 Lab Coat and Android 21 and her f***ing tail and Broly in that same exact order? I am literally going online and fighting against the same f characters over and over again in the game with like 40 plus characters. I don't know, guys. I think that's f***. Whack. I mean, I'll go ahead and give you guys an example right now, right? So last night, I was just hanging out watching some Dragon Ball Fighters, and of course, you know, I saw Android 21 Lab Coat on the screen, right? I also happened to notice that there were two Android 21 Lab Coats on the same screen. So I started to get a very, very big stomach ache seeing two players playing the same character. And then I also happened to notice that these same people were playing Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta on the same team as well. And then I also noticed that these dumb ass had the same exact team playing against each other. The same exact team. Blue Fujito, Blue Gogeta, Android 21 Lab Coat. What the actual f Dragon Ball Fighters is f 
trash right now. This game is garbage. These DLC characters are f garbage. Arc system works. Look, I get it. You want them to buy your characters. You want to make sure they're good. But dude, when you're releasing broken, 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 not as broken, but still kind of good, broken, broken DLC characters, all they're going to do is just invalidate the entire roster. I like watching Dragon Ball Fighters because I like seeing the diverse team. I like seeing what these players can come up with. The last couple of months I've been playing Dragon Ball Fighters, I've been seeing blue hair all over my screen and careful. I've been seeing fusions take over the meta of Dragon Ball Fighters in such a way where it's honestly disgusting. And what do all these characters have in common, guys? They all cost four f 99 Pay to win character. Dragon Ball Fighters has always had like that one character every single season that is just broken. Season one was Bardock. Season two was GT Goku. Season three was Ultra Instinct Goku. And then of course, later down the line, it was freaking Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And now we got season four already with Android 21 Lab Code. The problem is these characters invalidate the entire roster. You got Android 21 Lab Code. You got the regular Android 21. Fuck. You got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You got Blue Vegito. You got Gogeta. You got Ultra Instinct Goku. These characters invalidate the entire roster roster and that's why you see these characters pop up so much me myself personally i am a big believer in character diversity and character individuality right i feel like if you're playing a fighting game nine times out of ten you should just play the character that you like and that personally expresses you as a person i feel like you'll have more fun with the game that way a ton of people play dragon ball fighters online every single day and every last one of them is rocking the same exact fucking team in that order is that not frustrating is that not disheartening how can you not be annoyed by that as a player and as a spectator for a game with over 40 characters it's either you die the hero trying to be creative with your favorite team or you give up and you conform to the masses. You conform to the meta and you get with the program. Dragon Ball Fighters is f trash. Alright, I'ma fuck with you. Alright, bro. of ours. It will provide useful combat data. Android 21!